Hello, this is Brian with Hobby Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Racer Star BR2205 2600 kV motors. A couple of the guys in the field that we fly with already run these motors and have pretty good results with them. They have a 3mm solid shaft, N52 magnets. They are not curved though. They are directional for the uh, prop nuts, which is I do kind of like. And then they come with uh, two sets of screws, one of which works really well with four millimeters and the other ones I, uh, for probably anything under four millimeters. They have a lot of room between the, uh, the stator and the, the bottom of the housing, so I doubt you'll be able to use the wrong screw on these unless you really try. They uh, look really nice, they're really nicely anodized and uh, the machining on them is really good. They come in weighing at right at 27.3.4 grams, so I'm going to uh, run them on the thrust bench mostly on 4S and uh, like I said we'll see how they perform. So here's a close up look of machining and uh, how it looks overall. The uh, props we're going to be running today, starting with the uh, probably the mildest prop, will be the Dow 5040 V3, followed by the 5045 V2 bullnose, or semi bullnose, I like to call these. Then we'll step up to some tries. We got the uh, Racecraft 5040 tries, and the Racecraft 5040 quads. And then we're going to be running the HQ 5040 Tri S tips. One I haven't tested on the bench before, but we're going to be running today is going to be the Crazy Pony 5052 prop. It's got kind of a similar inside profile to the S tip, but kind of with the 5051 Racecraft tips on the edge. We're then going to give uh, the 5045 Tri Bullnose down, or uh, Racecraft. A try. And then we got the Racecraft 5051s. And even though the KV is a little higher, I'm going to see how well it goes. I may not run this one on uh, this motor. If it gets too hot on some of those other thicker tries, I probably won't give this a shot. Um, also, I may not run 5S on some of these. Or I know I won't run on 5S on too many. I may just run the usual. This one, and if it's cool enough, or on this on 5S2, and maybe even 6S, but we'll give that a shot. So. All right, here we're getting ready to do the first prop. Give you a quick rundown of how I usually uh, test motors out. I usually run a battery for two or three props. First thing I like to do is I like to run the prop up to 250 grams. Um, then the next step after that will be about 1500 on the uh, through a, it's basically I'm running an ESC through a flight controller and uh, so I'll run about 50% throttle and then I run into wide open throttle I usually hold it for maybe five seconds or so not not too long um, so the results are going to be a little bit on the higher than like realistic what you would get because with four of these running on a multi-rotor or, or more um, you will actually see a little bit more voltage droop than than what you see on this but this gives you kind of a realistic like high end what you would get um, with a really good battery. The batteries I run for these are uh, Tattoo 1550 4S's and also the 5S's if I'm doing those or maybe in a 6S. Um, so that's how, uh, that's how I get my results. I will put it in PDF form. I'll usually break it down a little bit more efficiency by each prop and so forth in a, in a PDF form or a Google document that will be a link below. So first one up will be the Dow 5040 V3. Here we go.
next up, Dow 5045 V2 bull nose or semi bull nose. All right, next up, Dow V Dow 5040 V2 semi bull nose or bull nose. Next up we're gonna run is the uh, Racecraft 5040 track. Next up, going to give a fifth five by four. Try uh, HQS tips. These are one of my favorite props. Usually, very efficient for what they are. So next up, the Racecraft 5040 quad blades. The uh, Crazy Pony 5052s. Next up is the uh, Racecraft 5045 Bullnose, Try Bullnose. Next up is the Racecraft 5051s. So, I'm going to be real careful testing this prop. Um, I'm not sure what brand this actually is, but it's a 6x4.5 full bull nose. I think it's going to be too much for this motor. Um, so, if you see me cut it out halfway through, it's because amps are probably above 40, and I'd uh, rather not smoke a motor that's not mine, as I have 
Already got it quite hot from the 5051s and the uh, 5045 tribolnums. Yeah, that's that's why it got. Looks like it didn't actually melt it, but it was a. Uh, it was pretty darn close. All right, so real quick, judging by what I've seen so far, again, it looks like it seems to really like the uh, lighter tries really well. Seem to work okay on it. Um, so I think I'm going to give these a shot on a uh, 5S. Just to, I'm kind of interested in seeing since we already kind of let a little bit of smoke out of this motor um i think we might have killed it and i was someone a motor but we'll uh we'll see what it has real quick and uh, we'll give it a whirl all righty so racecraft 5040 triblade on 5s not too warm it's fairly warm though but not insanely hot I don't think I would uh, recommend doing that for too long all right racecraft 5040 quad blade on 5s Yeah, that seems to be about the limit of it right there. Um, I don't know if you saw a little bit of smoke came out. Seems like when it hits about 35 amps on a mo on these motors, it, uh, it's limit. But, um, well, I'm going to uh, crunch all the numbers in a minute and we'll uh, figure out how well this performs compared to some of the other motors. 